Well, I said I was going to, and I finally got a quick change tool post for this little lathe. So this is a tool post that's made by a company called A2Z CNC. It is made out of aluminum, and it's similar, for the most part, to an Alora-style tool post. It has this lever that operates these two pistons on either one of these rails that the individual tool holders slide onto and lock in place. Which not only is handy for changing out tools quickly, but the biggest reason I find this to be helpful on a lathe such as this is that you can adjust the tool height just with these knurled thumb screws and a little locking nut. Very handy and makes the entire operation on the lathe a lot quicker and a lot more accurate. So I'm really liking it so far. I have taken a number of test cuts. It replaces the entire tool post on the lathe that comes on it. There's a 10 millimeter bolt. You basically unscrew whatever's on the 7x14 lathe and then you screw this bolt in around through there, this, this colored shaft. Keeps the bolt from locking on that lever uh, while still tightening it to the lathe. So to adjust the angle of the tool on the carriage, you use a, I believe it's an 8 millimeter hex wrench for that. A little bit different than the handle that comes on the lathe, but no big deal. Along with the tool holder body itself, as well as the mounting supplies, you get, this is a boring bar holder. Boring bar is a cutoff tool holder. And then two tool holders. And these just hold standard, uh, that's a 5 sixteenths tool. High speed that I just turned myself, of course it would hold smaller and it looks like it would probably hold up to at least 3 eighths. Unless that one's a 3 eighths, that might be a 3 eighths tool. One thing that I noticed, and I'm honestly not sure if, if this is supposed to happen or if I was supposed to correct this, but these screws that hold the working of the tool bit in place the threaded holes inside the body here were not threaded all the way through. It would allow the screw to come out just barely, meaning I could not tighten them down to anything much smaller than that whole half inch, three eighths, whatever that dimension is right there. I don't have off the top of my head. So that made kind of an issue and I had to actually back these out. These, these uh, screws are American threaded, they're 1032 screws, which is nice. It's kind of funny when everything else on the lathe is metric and the standard thread is the is the is the weird one. Uh, but I, I did have to chase those with, with one of my taps to so that the screws would screw all the way in. I just I found that weird. It doesn't really bother me. I mean I just I don't know why they do that. If it was a mistake, if I wasn't supposed to tap through that, or they just expect you to finish the tapping. Yeah, I don't know. But um so yeah, so far so good show you how we get it on the lathe. Here on the carriage of the lathe, this is a 10 millimeter bolt, and you want to keep this uh, if you are switching away from the four post, four point tool post on, that comes with one of these style lathes. I like to keep it. This hole usually has a spring and a detent in it that actually works as a stop for the four way tool post. Well, we don't need that. I went ahead and removed them. The detent was relatively easy to just pull out, and then the spring I picked out with a small pick. But installation could not be easier. Uh, this, at that point, this bolt right here, as said before, controls the angle of our tool post. You may also notice that there are two mounting points on this block for different tool posts. The first and the more commonly used one is going to be for your general turning and facing tool, this high speed tool such as this one, and honestly it couldn't be more simple. Slide it on, put it in place, flip this lever. This right here is where you're going to lock the piston on this dovetail for cutting on this side, and if we wanted to change the way that that tool approached the workpiece, we just undo that and redo it and adjust it as need be. 
we also have this front dovetail. So if we wanted to say do a boring or internal threading procedure, now we can move the lock handle further, put our boring tool in place, and it actually locks down here. And now that's in place, and if we want to adjust its angle of attack, how we present it to the workpiece, we can just act as such. So the act of setting the tool height utilizing this tool holder isn't fundamentally different from setting the tool height on the other tool holder. It's just a slightly different method of doing so. As you see, I install a dead center here in the tailstock of the lathe. We'll just, and basically just bring them together to where they meet. And once I have them close enough, we'll retighten the tool holder down. Just lock it up. Once we have it adjusted, we can lock that nut in place. Now that we have the tool height adjusted and it's on center and it's locked down, everything's good to go. We can go ahead and uh, take a test cut on some aluminum using the world's most adorable little boring bar. Be about seven thousands right here. That was a ten thousands pass. Shall we go for 15 on this 6061 aluminum? So back here on the messy bench, you can see uh, that, you know, it cut the aluminum just fine. And that was a very small cobalt boring bar I got from a purveyor. Anyhow, uh, you can see that cut a pretty pretty nice little internal internal bore there. That's really not the highlight of the video, but as you can see, the lathe works and cuts, so that's nice. As you can see, the tool post seems to work just dandy. Took basically nothing to install other than the aforementioned modifications I had to do to get tools in place. And it has made setup time on the machine amazingly quicker. I can't even begin to describe how much faster it is just to set the height of the tool and get a tool in place and switch out different tools for different operations. So this has been a huge boon to productivity. So thanks again for checking this little video out, just uh, highlighting the quick change tool post for the mini lathe made by A2Z CNC Machining. Uh, if you like this video and others like it, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I, I like to have home workshop projects out as often as I can get to them. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching.